Hi guys, it's Philo. Today we are setting up April in my brand new notebook by Your Bujo with the three dots. So you've already seen this notebook in my notebook review um, two weeks ago and then a few days ago when I did my 2022 setup for April two years ago. I did an olive tree theme and I really enjoyed it. I wanted to do it again. And then I discovered Unanya's account on Instagram. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, sorry. And she does those lovely portraits of girls with plants in the background. And I was feeling so inspired, I couldn't limit myself to just olive trees. So just for this month, even if I stick with the style, I didn't stick to olive trees. I made a different plants in each spread. So let's go. I've struggled so much with the filming this month. The weather has been awful for two weeks now and the light is very inconsistent during the whole video. Sorry for that. So starting with the cover, I did some branches from an olive tree. After that, for the remaining spreads, I didn't have many ideas on what to do next with olive trees branches, but I had many ideas in the same style with other plants. So you'll see a different plant on each spread. Just like this one, all the doodles are really easy to recreate and just by giving it a background, it gives it depth. You can also do that with colored pencils. I think it's easier to have a smooth background. And then I'm going with a dark green and darkening the bottom of each leaf. And the same with an olive green. For some leaves in the background, I used a very light purple, just like Unanya. And then I darkened the background below each leaf to make them pop out. And finally, I added some stars in the background with my white gel pen. Now with the memory spreads in front of the cover, I like to keep it very minimal and save all the space to write.
Now with the monthly spread, I did a lettering, changing colors, a bit like what I did in October. So I'm doing a very simplified gradient just by darkening the top of each letter. And then giving each letter a highlight with my white gel pen. Then I stamped the month. I did that in my November cover. I'm doing the same frame and kind of palette circles as the cover so that it's cohesive even if the plant is not the same and the colors I chose are not the same. That's a good tip actually. If you have many ideas for a theme, you can just use some elements and repeat them on each spread. So even if each spread has different colors or different um, main elements, you will have some details that are the same and make it cohesive. The style is always the same. Here again I'm coloring the background in the same kind of frame as the cover. Darkening the background below each leaf. Here I'm also putting some details in the background with my white gel pen. They are different, but this style is the same. And now with the final spread, the first weekly of April. Uh, it has actually more March days than April days, but I didn't have any page left in my previous notebook, so I couldn't do the last uh, weekly of March there. So I had this idea of water lilies and I really liked how they turned out, but you'll see. This month I've decided to include my mood tracker within each weekly. It seems much more convenient and besides I don't have any new habit to track. So I don't have this spread this month.
I love the combination of green and pink, so I thought that a pink background and green water lilies would be awesome. But uh, yeah, my husband saw that spread and <laughs> told me they looked like aliens and now I cannot unsee it. So now tell me in the comments, do they look like water lilies or do they look like aliens? Be honest. Yay, more aliens! Here for the white details in the background I did bubbles, so I thought they would look like they're floating, but they still look like aliens flying or something like that. Hey, I'm back! So, my first impressions on this notebook by Your Bujo. Uh, the pages are really smooth. Uh, the binding is perfect, really the best binding ever in a notebook. Um, this is so awesome. This stays in place when you open the notebook. One thing I find a bit annoying with linen covers is that they get dirty a bit faster. So here you can see it's a little grayish here. But yeah, I don't really mind, but just so you know, it happens. <laughs> um, I have like 10 birds waiting for me to put food. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you next week with the remaining weeklies with different plans. Um, and until then, enjoy planning.